Modesty isn't really only what you're wearing, it's also the way you're behaving, and it's the way that you're, it's a way of being, okay? And um, as Jewish women, we really have a very, very big role in building the Jewish home. And what Masila Yesharim says about the way of being is that it's very easy for a person to change what he does, like to change your actions, you can work on your actions, but to change your way of being is very, very hard. And if you can use Tzniyut, as a way to dress more modestly and influence and have an impact on your way of being. For example, if a girl is wearing short shorts and a tank top, she's gonna walk around on the street and she's gonna hold herself like, you know? But like when you're dressed more covered, and you can also see Kate Middleton, and you can see all these other people, but don't melech, it automatically has an impact on the way you hold yourself and the way you present yourself. And it's very important for all of you, like it's very easy to listen to what we said here, but you should all know that what you should take home from this like meeting is that when you go home, don't feel that just because you're modest, you, you lose your self-expression. Like you should all find the colors that you love. Um, what Tehillah is saying, that colors are something that is not bad. Like Hashem put colors in this world for us to enjoy them. And every color has its own meaning. Like blue is the color of um, loyalty and the color of, you know, um, being responsible, pink is the color of happiness. Like we can use colors to really have an impact on our own mood. Um, and I also want to say that it's very important that like you dress modestly and beautifully, but it's also about what's underneath the garment, right? So you have, it's very important to take care also of your body, to take care of what you're feeding yourself and you know, to, to really drink water and have, and everything is in our Judaism, everything is in our religion, like, it's not something that's far away, the Rambam speaks about how important it is to eat healthy, so you should all take care of your bodies and make sure to exercise, so that when you put on your clothing, it's not only tenua, but you actually feel good, because you feel good in what's inside of it, yeah. and I just want to say that this Chodesh is Rosh Chodesh Kislev, does anyone know what Kislev actually represents? Um, what, is, what is a kis? A kis is a pocket in Hebrew, right? And lev, a kis lev, it's a pocket in our heart. And something that Yael said here before is that Rachel said, sorry, is that you should only keep in your closet stuff that you love, okay? And now kis lev is the darkest month of the year, and in the darkest months of the year, it's so easy to just get into our little like habitat and just like hide away from the world. But take this time to really sit with yourself and think of all the stuff that you love. Think of the stuff that you want to have more in your life. And take all the dark stuff, all the stuff that's bringing you down, all of the rotten relationships or the rotten people that you, that you want to get out of your life, take them out of your life and take this time to really, really <coughs> take all the stuff in, that you love and keep it in that pocket of yours. So uh, that's my wish for you. And happy Rosh Thank you. Thank you. I have to say, I went to the most out there and I bought my first new bathing suit from Honda. Oh. And I wore it the next 